have Miss Bonnie with me. Bonnie, Bonnie. Today we are going to work on our weight, and then we are also going to practice our come when called. All right? So remember with our weight, we want to get her to sit in her position. Use our hands, draw our invisible line. Remember, we're telling her that she can't cross that line until we give her her permission, which is when we call her name and have her come to us, okay? Come here, Mama. Come here. Come here. You want to make sure when you call her, remember, we want to be on her level, so we're going to move down a little bit. I've got the treat with me. I'm going to make as much noise as possible, whether I'm clapping my hands or, you know, on my legs or even doing the floor. And then I'm calling her name nice and high pitched. Remember, our puppies like the high pitch because it tells them that we're happy and we're excited. Whereas the low pitch, a lot of times it makes them think that they're in trouble. That's why a lot of our dogs will become more apt to come to our female um, people rather than uh, our male people. So, all right, come here, Mama. Come here. What? Come here. Good girl. Sit. Good. Draw my invisible line. Wait. I'm gonna go as far back as possible. Good job. Bye. Come here, baby. Come here, good girl. So as soon as I call her name, she's immediately getting up and coming to me, which is awesome. So, good girl. Now I'm going to practice, and I'm actually going to add a door, a big door, but it's going to be a door. So, I have my two chairs. Pretty cool, huh? So, what I'm doing is I'm making the opening a door. So every time you guys practice weight, you want to practice it with the door as well. Um, you want her to get used to you going through the door before her and then her following. So come here, Miss Bon Bon. Come here. Come here. Bonnie. Bonnie. Come here. Good girl. Sit. Good. Wait. So I'm going to pretend like I'm opening the door. Wait. I'm going through and then I call her through. So we want Bonnie to know that we are the alpha dogs. Therefore, whenever we do the weight, you want to practice not only in a large area, having her wait and then going and stepping far away and then having her come to you, but you also want to practice with the door. She needs to learn that even if you open the door, she doesn't get to run out as quick as possible. She has to sit, she has to wait, and you get to go first and decide when she comes along. Same thing with the car. If you've got her in the back of the car, you want to make sure you tell her to sit and wait and then open the car door and don't let her get out until you give her the permission to get out, okay? This can help a lot, especially if you have children, which I know you guys do. You have like four, I think, and they're small children. So you want to make sure that she's not going to trample them trying to get out of the car. You want to make sure she sits and she waits and she comes out when you guys allow her to. Bonnie. Bonnie, Bonnie. Let's try it again. Come here, Bonnie. 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 Come here, baby. Good girl. Sit. Huh? Sit. Good girl. Wait. I open my door. I go on through my door. Come here. Good girl. Good job, Bonnie. Bon. Good job. So this week, what I want you guys to do is I want you to practice not only outside with the weight and going as far as possible 
and then having her come to you. But I also want you to practice with the door, car door, house door, whatever door you can. Practice with the kids as well. You want to make sure that they know to tell her to wait before they get out of the car because we don't want Bonnie knocking them over into the street, okay? So this was Stephanie and Bonnie, and we were working on our weight as well as our come when called, okay?